we received Megan's diagnosis on March 13th, 1998, a Friday the 13th. And Patrick, our third child, was seven days old at the time. And the diagnosis we got was that Megan's muscles were weak because a sticky substance was building up in the muscles, something called glycogen. And that glycogen is what all of us who are healthy use and convert into muscle energy. But because of a genetic problem, Megan wasn't able to do that. They told us it was a very serious disease. They told us it was a fatal disease. And they said Megan wouldn't live to be much more than two. And by that point, she was a normal kid. She did everything a kid was supposed to do, except she wasn't walking. So he also told us, the doctor at that day, that at the time Megan was diagnosed, that Patrick, who was with us at the time, who was only seven days old, that there was a 25% chance he would have the disease as well, and we'd need to get him tested. Um, so that was a, a difficult day in, in March of 1998. I think for anybody who's ever had to deal with that word diagnosis, that itself can be pretty scary. And when you're dealing with it with your children, it becomes all the more profound. And I think we went through a range of emotions. We went through shock, denial, grief, ultimately wanting to share it with family and friends for some network of support and comfort. But by that evening, of that Friday the 13th in, in 1998, I think we went all the way toward determination and, and extraordinary curiosity to learn everything we could about the disease uh, and to begin to chart a course to figure out if there was any way to stop or reverse that, uh, that horrible diagnosis. Pompeii is a rare neuromuscular disease and because of this genetic defect, Megan and Patrick can't properly make an enzyme that in healthy people breaks down a substance called glycogen, which we all use to convert to muscle energy. Over time, that glycogen builds up, eventually destroying their muscle cells. And it's all muscles of the body. It affects skeletal muscle for strength. It affects the diaphragm, which is a muscle for breathing. It affects the heart, which is a cardiac muscle. Uh, it affects children all the way through adults, so it's a range of onset of symptoms. But in every case, if you were diagnosed with Pompe disease, absent a treatment, you will die from the, your disease. I, I think this film will, will touch so many people in so many different ways. I think because it is ultimately a message about hope and inspiration, about an, uh, an American family that has some remarkable remarkably unique challenges and special needs, but then in many ways is a remarkably, you know, similar family to the ones who live next door to them who face all the same challenges about school and friends and work and life. Um, I think a lot of people will relate to that. I think what it says about, you know, being an entrepreneur and taking risks and starting businesses against some pretty profound odds, I think people can relate to that. I think for anybody who's the parent of a special needs kid, I think you'll relate to, you know, again, the uniqueness of what special needs children go through, but then also how much any parent of a special needs kid just wants them to live as normal a life as possible.